king of the ring, Spong, in 2000, he turned pro at the age of 18, and he won 12 fights in that one year. And he's a very aggressive fighter, always pushes the pace, smothered the great Peter Arts when they fought, and then crashed Peter Arts and burned him with a big punch combination. Spong has knockout power in both hands. He also has knockout power in both feet. He's currently training and has been training in mixed martial arts. Just made his debut in MMA at the World Series of Fighting. This guy is a real combat sports athlete. He'll fight anybody, anytime. Trains with Rashawn Evans. Trains with heavyweight UFC superstar Alistair Overing. This man means business. They don't call him the king of the ring for nothing. Remy, the flying gentleman Buniaski, is a veteran of 108 fights. Flying knees, jump roundhouse kicks, in place of the flying knee the way most people use a jab, works as a model on the side and always stays sharply dressed. And his last outing, last time we saw him in glory, was on December 31st, 2012. And it was a rep night for him. He said it was the worst night of his career. He barely made a decision against Philippe Linden and then lost the decision to newcomer Jamal Ben Sadiq. Bunyasi has been around the game a long time, and like you said, Stephen, with 104 fights, the question is, what's left? What's left in Bunyaski? What's left to accomplish? And does he still have the hunger that made him the greatest on the planet? The big number to look at here on the tail of the tape is the 10 years that Spong is the junior of Remy Bonyowski. Does the young lion take control of this pride or will Bonyowski stay the king? And for our main event, let's send it up to Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, Good evening and welcome to the XL Arena here in London for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Glory Sports International. And tonight's bouts are directed under the auspices of the Glory World Federation. All right, fans, here we go with the Glory 5 main event. Three three-minute rounds in this a special heavyweight attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and kickboxing fans joining us around the world, live from London, it's time for Glory! <laughs> Introducing you first, on my right, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner wearing black and white trunks. He weighed in at 102 kilograms. Originally from Suriname, now fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, in the United States, and uh, Amsterdam. His outstanding record includes 85 wins, 5 losses, with 56 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the young kickboxing superstar known as the King of the Ring. Introducing... the ring on my left fighting out of the red corner wearing black trunks with white trim he weighed in at 103 and one half kilos 
Hailing from the Netherlands, his career spans 108 fights, including 98 wins, 10 losses, and 36 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the three-time World Grand Prix champion and one of kickboxing's all-time greats, introducing the flying gentleman, And the referee in charge now to give instructions, Jop Uveda. Okay, fighters, I want the clean fight. You know the rules. No headbutts, no elbows, no clinch in the lower back. After make a moment, break, break, stop, stop, y'all, okay? If it's a good fight, shake hands and watch the back. Right away we see the height advantage that Bunyaski has over Spong. Both men have extremely strong corners. There's Ivan Hippoli giving last-minute instructions. Uh, one of the great trainers in Holland. And, of course, Tyrone Spong has Rob Kamen and Rashad Evans, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, in his corner. And Spong presses forward. We pretty much know that Spong is going to want to throw some punches, but he landed a good left low kick there. And that's what Bunyowski said. He said he's lost his, uh, his speed in kicking now. He's mostly just a puncher now that he's a bigger man. He said he's going to kick the puncher. We were seeing Bunyowski throw a lot of kicks right off the bat. And a left kick landed upside the right arm of Spong. Good. Oh. Right. That's a beautiful left front kick by Spong. Right up the middle. It landed perfectly. Nice counter. It's a perfect sweep move. Spong. Oh, nice work. Beautiful punch combination to the body and then to the head by Tyrone Spong. Spong keeping Bunyaski trapped in the corner momentarily with two minutes left here in round number one. There's the leg grab again. Did you know that? No, no, no. We're gonna, you know, Spong is, hopefully he doesn't get a point deduction for doing that. Hopefully because this is not an MMA fight. Oh, well, you can't hold the foot, though. Yeah. You can grab and hold it for a second. Yeah. But then you have to let go or do something. Yeah, you get a counter immediately. Yeah. Nice kick for kick. Spong doing some nice inside leg kicks, round kicks there. Just almost took the legs out from Bunyowski. Spong using that kick quite well, and the hands. It's a one, two, three with that liver shot to end things for Spong. Spong has been a sharp puncher, one minute left. Kuniaski hasn't been able to find his distance or his rhythm yet here in round number one. Well, Bunyaski said he was going to feel him out in round number one, and number two he was going to go for it. I don't know if he's felt him out yet, because it looks like Spunk's coming on. Well, he's felt his punches, that's for sure. Spong is just the sharper fighter right now. Way the playing the waiting game. Yeah. Spong with some head movement, standing on the outside. Probably confident that he's got the round in the bag. But Remy Bunyaski is very hard to finish. Got one of the greatest defenses in the game. Bunyaski blasting away with a right roundhouse kick to the body. Then the left. End of round one. Spong marches him down. Spong there getting advice from his corner. Probably the advice would be do the same thing in round two yeah, because that's what I tell him. Yeah, because he kept his distance, picked his shots, landed his combination. I like him his aggressiveness and his forward movement. That was a beautiful cheap kick that tasted some toast. Bunyaski eating some toenails right there. Beautiful shot, well timed, lifted, pushed it straight out, and then waiting for the counter punch. Totally in range. Bong's got a great look in his eyes, very focused, 
And he's kicking a lot more than we thought he would be. Swan unanimously took round number one with our five judges. When Yasky knows he's got to get things started here in round number two. Remy Bunyaski in the red gloves, Tyrone Spong in the blue gloves. Spong leading one round, heading here into number two. Now Bunyaski told me he'd go for it in this round. They kick, 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 and then try to knock him out. to sweep Bunyaski in trouble up against the ropes. Spawn doing something very clever, holding the foot up on his arm instead of just holding it. Two of our greatest heavyweights here in glory. Wow. We've got more great heavyweights coming at you. April 6th, Gokan Saki comes in to face Daniel Gita, and that's the number of two and number three heavyweights in glory in Istanbul, April 6th. Don't miss it. GloryWorldSeries.com, the pay-per-view will be available. Bunyaski peppering with the jab. Because further down the road, Frank, both these men are thinking, well, where, where am I going to stand in the rankings? Where am I going to stand in that heavyweight Grand Slam tournament? Oh, my oh, Lord! Massive right hand sends Bunyaski sleeping through the bottom rope. He's not moving. Tyrone Spong has knocked out Remy Bunyaski here in round number two. Spong. Spong's punching power comes through. Bunyaski said he would kick the puncher, said he would knock him out in the second round, but instead falls victim to a massive right hand that sends him careening through the bottom rope. Bunyaski just could never get out of first gear in the first and second round. Tyrone Spong, stay patient, stay relaxed, endure whatever Bunyaski had, and then finish the job here in round number two. With Spong holding that range, he took a quick knee there. But that chopping round right that went around the gloves of Bunyaski and caught him right on the chin and crumbled him straight to the canvas. Here it is again. Bunyaski trying to smother him, brings that knee up, which landed right on the chin. But boom, gets hit instead right on the button for it and had no recovery for it. This was a knee to the chin followed by a... Good night, Irene. Tyrone Spong moving up in weight. Looks like he has even more punching power. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes and two seconds in round number two. He is the winner by way of knockout, the king of the ring, Tyrone. Tyrone, you came right in there, you were very relaxed. Were you surprised that he wasn't able to hurt you at all before you put him away? Uh, no. I put in a lot of work, you know. And uh, I know what I'm capable of. Uh, so I wasn't surprised. Uh, I just took my time. I had three rounds and I took it easy. Yeah. This was a big win for you because you took out another three-time World Grand Prix champion, having beaten Peter Arce in your last kickboxing match. Now do you have eyes on a bigger prize and maybe Sammy Schultz? That's right. You know, I, I like challenges and uh, I'm just looking forward to fight the best. So give me Sammy, give me whoever. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. He is the king of the ring. Please. One more time, Tyrone on Spong. I want to thank uh, Glory for uh, giving me this big fight. Good contract, Glory is the best organization. 
I'm representing Suriname, a country with a lot of big champions, a lot of potential. So uh, thank you all. And Saranan Disnagiu. Thank you very much. Remy. How tough was that? Uh, it was really tough. I mean, uh, three year absence, three fights. It's hard when you're 37 and try to make a comeback. But uh, all the credits to, uh, to Tyron. He did a good job. He's young, he's fresh. Came from the same country as, as I, so from Suriname, so that's why he must be strong. But I wanted to win this fight, but uh, couldn't happen. It's a, it's, a it's a tough road in glory, as you know. I mean, you've been in the game a long time. Where do you go from here? Uh, I don't know yet. I mean, uh, it's hard to make a, a good comeback. My comeback has been rocky. I've done my best. I've, I've done everything, but my body says, uh, my body says it's, it's hard, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully we'll see you again. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Remy, the flying gentleman, Bujaski.